So where is all the money going into? Who's spending it? Who's using it? What, what's happening? Well, some of the richest people in the world, uh, billionaires like uh, Bezos uh, and Peter Thiel, um, um, Bill Gates, they're all investing in these uh, uh, high-risk or, or potentially high-payoff uh, companies that are developing a variety of fusion reactors. And we also have a lot of international participation places. Uh, uh, Singapore, places in the uh, southeast are also investing in a variety of U.S. and uh, U.K. companies. Is there a distinction between, say, proven technology that needs to be scaled up versus sort of everyone's on the same level seeing what sticks? You know, one of the most interesting things about fusion is that there are two main ways of developing a fusion reactor through a stellarator and through a... a Takamak reactor, but there's a lot of other different technologies, and that represents a very, very healthy aspect of the f uh, fusion industry in that a lot of different types of reactors are being looked at and being developed, and there's a lot of potential in a lot of, of some of these reactors that are being developed. What kind of countries might be most apt to sort of pick this up longer term? Well, you know, there's so many countries that have decided to be carbon free mm -hmm. uh, uh, by 2040, 2050. The people who are investing in these fusion reactors believe that there's going to be a real need for a fission or a fusion technology to go ahead and deliver on those carbon free goals. And consequently, there's a lot of money that's being developed, developed invested in these things. Goldman Sachs has invested in some of these companies, mm -hmm. uh, and Coastland Ventures have invested in some of these companies. So we're moving forward in a variety of, uh, of, um, uh, of uh, companies. What's more important, too, is that there's a lot of engineering firms that are now getting into the act. Mm -hmm. So not only are you talking about developing reactors, but now they're exploring building commercial reactors. Is it scalable? Well, the idea is to perhaps it is scalable, uh, but we want to get a lot of smaller reactors. So the ones that I'm looking at that I'm most interested are going to be 50, uh, 5 to 50 megawatts or so, some larger. But the idea is to develop a base load technology that can complement mm -hmm. renewables, wind and solar, which are intermittent. So uh, there's a lot of interest in developing compact, inexpensive fusion reactors, uh, some of which are, are going to be transportable.